Welcome back to Travel and Root Beer. This is day three of our journey across the Southwest and heading toward LA, ultimately to fly out to Japan and the rest of Far East and Southeast Asia. I'm sitting in a parking lot at Walmart of all places because Liz is feeling a little under the weather. We're in Gallup, New Mexico. We just left our hotel. I uh, uh, enjoyed the continental breakfast. Liz unfortunately couldn't, so she's going to get some things to take care of herself and we'll be on our way hopefully she'll be better in the next few hours because we'll be hitting the grand canyon we'll actually be entering navajo nation within the next hour so pretty much i will just uh film like i did yesterday whenever i see something interesting and uh show you guys what's up thanks for watching we're in navajo nation now <laughs> It's crazy that they have a rock formation like this, like right in the middle of this town. So it's Arizona state line, so I guess this is the official entrance to Navajo Nation. I thought this was interesting just as we leave window rock the first city here in navajo nation we just come across like fast forest out of nowhere um, now remember guys navajo nation is a semi-autonomous region that's why they have the state line thing back there they have their own president and everything you know and taxes are different it's actually supposed to be some of the highest tax or the highest tax place in the u.s we just saw gas for 269 it was 239 before that and last night we got it for 219 so, and that's all just within a, like, 20-mile span. So, yep. Navajo Nation Forest. Yeah, this is, this is neat. It's pretty. I don't know how well you can see this because of how far it is and the view that the GoPro gives. But this is absolutely beautiful, people. This is amazing out here. Guys, I couldn't even film what we just went through because of how tight the roads were. But we just went straight up like a mountain at a weird angle. Had to watch for rock signs and everything. But check a look at this. We just went up all this. We're at the bottom. You can't see it really good now, but there was just <laughs> no way hard. I could have grabbed the camera at the time. Here's the backside. This is us going down. Look at this. This is awesome. Film the road a little bit, Liz. Uh, yeah. They wanted us to reduce speed from 60 to 30 back there. Oh, goodness. That is Tuba City, uh, the capital of Navajo Nation. It's kind of hard to believe that this whole place, this Navajo Nation, is the size of West Virginia, but it's just in the northern part of Arizona. I mean, that's pretty unfathomable. Uh, I could believe it now after driving through it, but just thinking about it, it's kind of weird. It seems like a pretty good sized city, actually. Okay, so we just left Navajo Nation about an hour ago, and we're now in the Grand Canyon National Park, which I knew from experience that uh, Yellowstone, they spring a fee on you right before you get there, so that's to be expected, but it's $30 just to come in this place. Uh, I think that's a bit steep, but we figured we'd go ahead and do it and make the best of it. We're not even going to be here a full day, just a few hours, and gas here, this is ridiculous, $3.07. You know, that's another thing they did at Yellowstone was jack up the gas price, but um, we just put in like five bucks because this car gets really good gas mileage. We didn't need much gas anyway. We really didn't even really need it, but just to be sure. So anyway, uh, we'll go check out some of the views of the park. So first stop in the Grand Canyon is a medieval torture tower. Uh, did not expect that, <laughs> but there you could kind of see where we're going. We can see the Grand Canyon. Here's 
Jersey Tower thing. Tower. That's actually where we were filming just a minute ago down there. Okay, so while we were in that tower, we looked everywhere to find something on it. There's not very good information here, like what year it was built or who exactly built it. I do have my own theories, though. I have my theory that somebody, some ancient people or some kind of settler, they came here and they ran across the Grand Canyon and they said, we are going to make a shitload. And so they built that thing. <laughs> some people would come here and do exactly what we did, pay $30 a day to, to park. But uh, I could be wrong about that. It's another view of the Grand Canyon. We've actually degraded a little bit here. But the next one, how smooth, where, like right where it goes down, there's a teeny tiny little jut up. Okay. Here we are, we are on the other side of the canyon from where we were at at the tower. after leaving the Grand Canyon and we are on the final stretch toward LA. We're going to drive until we either get too tired and decide to stay somewhere or just come across something that seems decent. What's the name of this town, Liz? Kingman. Kingman. Okay, it's been a while since we shot anything. We're at a gas station here in uh, Kingman. We're about 320-ish miles away from LA. I want to show you guys a little bit of the view. You guys probably can't see it very good because we're kind of far away. We're at a Love's. Couldn't find my Flying J, but Love's is pretty good too. We're going to chill out here for a while, get some heat, head on in. Okay, so we just crossed over into California a little bit, a few miles back. We're staying at a hotel we found online. It's like thirty-eight dollars a night in this little town called Needles. <laughs> I don't know why the name of that town just makes me laugh. Yeah, it's interesting. But uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot an ending to this one. As you can see, we've had a pretty exciting day. Um, it's probably been the best as far as most stuff done in a single day on one of these. Probably. I hope you guys don't get used to me doing like a video every single day if you watch this series because. <laughs> This just by pure chance that I've got the energy and the Wi-Fi and everything, all that to do it. Um, I'll do daily ones as I can, but most of these, probably there'll be some week-long collages coming up and everything. But uh, We have about 250 miles left to L.A., so thank you guys for watching.